Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2 with me at Nitty. So after having recruited Tali and, well, um, gotten her um, quest, loyalty quest as well, uh, it's time to continue on just doing all the stuff that's highlighted here. Well, I guess the towns cannot be unhighlighted, but still, I think I'll start with this system where we have an anomaly and a crashing ship somehow. I don't know how that uh, crashing ship has come to the quest log. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, but we'll have to do that too. So first I'll go out to the anomaly and see what we'll find at this location. And the anomaly is over there, good. Alright. There it is. Also get a bit of resources in the process. Sensors detect anomalous weather patterns. Geth activity detected. Alright. Get to fight a couple Geth. That's all nice and dandy. We have done that a plenty in Tali's mission. So shouldn't be a problem. Also, I mean, we fought uh, one of the Colossi and I think they won't have one of these down there in the side mission. So we have no points to spend. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing new in the weapons department, apart from the upgrades we bought, of course. So yeah, let's see. What we'll find. Well, that looks like a well developed structure there. So they are probably here for more than a couple seconds. Anyway, Scaris, swap over to the sniper rifle. Thank you. And both of you use your ammo powers, please. Garris. Thank you. Alright, uh, so looks like the weather really is not too nice. To say the least, can't see a bit. Uh, okay, so there we can go upwards. There's some palladium here, there's... I don't know, uh, since it has some cover, I'm assuming that's the way we are intended to go, that we'll have a fight coming, but it's not necessarily the correct old train there. We get a bit more palladium here. More palladium. All right. <laughs> it's also going down, I see. And that's going up towards the structure. Probably not going to do that just yet. Here we see down to the place we were before. Okay, so we would have gotten up here Either way, I think. They've seen us. They've seen us, alright. I haven't seen them. Yeah, it's hard to fight in these conditions. Why isn't it working? I mean, 
basically I see them mostly at this go down to the sea well Thane will deal with that for us <laughs> so there's a probe the probe that we sent down probably we have looted that already so yeah I think that's the way to go back here. Alright, now we are close enough to see a couple of them. And fire at a couple of them. There we go. There's another one that we don't yet see. There we go. There's the light, so shoot at the light. <clears throat> All right, there we go. So that's another probe. Okay, that one is down. Next one is not quite. Ah, good shot, Garrus. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Hey, is that all? Well, there's more palladium. It's the bridge here to the left. There's more chunk. Also, more palladium. This area is kind of confusing. Also, we probably don't. Well, no map. Just an objective. Okay. Well, there's the bridge, right? Yeah, that looks like the bridge. Good, so I think we have. Uh, discovered everything we could so far. So we'll just head over here, get the palladium, see what else we'll find. More palladium here, some more on the other side. There we go. Right, so... There's another room, room-like structure or, well, it's not a structure, right? There's a lot of palladium we can find here. Battle music. Can't see any enemies yet, though. So we came down from here. That's another place we don't want to jump down. We've been spotted. Yeah, I think that's the only way forward here then. Alright, now aim for the lights. Almost down. Okay, got two more. Uh, don't see him anymore. There he is. All right. Don't have too much ammo left. But also, kind of looks like we're almost there. Okay, 
that one's down. And that one's down. More ammo. Oh, come on. That should have killed him. Is that all of them? Or is there more coming? There's more palladium in any case. Palladium. Geth device. Probably first want to scout for more palladium. Oh, none left, it seems. So let's see what we'll find here. Just a huge gaff structure or what? I'll take it. All right. Record GEF climate change technology. Oh, well, that might be useful to save Earth. <laughs> um, credits: two thousand palladium. Looking good. So, over to the crashing ship. See if we find something over there. And there we go. And the ship is right here. The MSV Broken Arrow. A Geth signature aboard. Okay. So, same thing as usual. A lot of Geth lately. We haven't fought Geth a lot in this game before, but since Tali's mission, all the time. And still, I'll stick with my squad. We don't need to do anything. That didn't sound good. So it may even be that I'll stay on this weapon for now. You swap over. Time to impact six minutes. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Captain's log. Yellow alert. I'm moving the ship to yellow alert. While we have seen no signs of trouble, I'm not so sure we won't run into get this far out. We have to be prepared for anything. I've been told it's a terrible idea to go this far out toward Geth territory, but these colonies need to defend themselves. Sometimes I think the only thing keeping the crew from shriveling up in fear is the 100 crates of military-grade weaponry on board. Oh, that sounds... Mm, not so good. A little shore leave when we get to the Nioriov system will do us all some good. We have a lot of deliveries to make and it's not going to get any friendlier out there. A red alert. Moving the ship to red alert. The Geth are attacking. We're ill-equipped for an attack of this magnitude, but we'll do everything we can to survive this. These colonies need, the weapon. we need these weapons, and this attack is further proof of how dire the situation is out here. Signing off. This will be the last entry in this block. Given the severity of the Geth attack, I have ordered all hands to evacuate and head towards the colony. Shouldn't the, Geth succeed, uh, should the Geth succeed in capturing this ship, they also gain control of the 100 crates of weapons in the cargo hold. Therefore, I'm using my authorization codes to scuttle the ship, hopefully destroying the Geth that remain on board. Uh, that remain on board. I intend to stay aboard to make sure the ship dies gracefully. My plan is to disable the ship's engines, thus causing our orbits to decay. This will bring the MSV Broken Arrow down to the surface, where the self-destruct timer will destroy the ship. I must be careful. If I fail, there's no telling where the ship might end up. Alright, so we can't go left, can't go right, need to go this way. And... 
we also have some sense of urgency here. Since there's a timer ticking. We are down to 527. Oh, yeah, I'm on the <laughs> machine gun, right? Well, works. It's close quarters combat, so that will be nice. Uh, refined Iridium. The door cannot be opened, probably, because... Engine room sealed. Okay. Access system reports. Yeah, let's do that. Navigation status offline. Life support status. System damaged. Hull breach detected. Local atmosphere venting to space. Engine status disabled. To restore power in, gauge the power couplings. Warning. Atmospheric entry detected. Impact with planetary service imminent. So if we do that, we can continue on. Good. Cannot go left, so we'll go right. Let's see if we find anything in here. So we need to... <laughs> ah, can't aim again. Well, the gun is a lot more accurate since the upgrade. Come on. Nice shot. So, power coupling one, activate. Did that work? Well, it did something. Oh, there's one up there. Alright, that worked. Now, power coupling 2. Activate that. Anything more to do? Okay, that works. Well, I'm just going the way I can go. <clears throat> Alright, bypass. Let's see. We've seen the C before, there we go. We've seen that symbol before. We've seen those before, those two and those two. Alright. Will that reset the timer? Okay, now we just have to deal with the Geth. No, not even. Well, okay, that wasn't a hard mission or a long mission. It was rather like an anomaly. So I think it's time to read the mail talk with potential crew that needs to be talked to Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal yeah I expect that to the Normandy our thanks from Raphael Colonia governor of Fargonia colony far Fargon <laughs> colony Jonas Normandy crew we retrieved your identity from the docking data board the MSV broken arrow we are led to believe that your crew is responsible for saving our colony from a catastrophic event not only did you defeat the Geth and prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in a trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, but you also saved nearly 100 munitions crates that would have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thanks to you, we are safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the residents of Fargon Colony, you have our eternal gratitude. Alright. So that means this... Cluster has been 100%. Um, explored, right? Eyeless Nebula, 100%. Yes. 
So anyone who wants to talk to me? I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Okay. So I'd say we'll call it an episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and next time I'm thinking of going to Tuchanka, the Kroganorm world, see what we find there. So thanks a lot for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a nice day, bye!